Hi guys, this is Stephanie. So today is my first day of Stanford Clinical Internship and I'm really excited for today and the next two weeks. Um, and it's going to start soon. I have to join the Zoom right now. So for this internship, we're using Canvas so we can get all of our resources via Canvas. And I can also check my schedule, two week schedule. And today, for the first period, we're doing like a welcome introduction overview session. And then we'll be talking about history and medicine, medicine at Stanford, and then about professions in medicine. So I'm assuming that we're going to talk about different careers um, and options when you go into the medical field. Um, and then after that, we will be talking about history taking and how to uh, probably about some uh, patient care and how to what kind of questions we have to ask them and we have other lectures and I'm really excited for this week and also next week um, we will be doing some anatomy some dissections and also listening to um, uh, lectures from very well-known uh, famous healthcare professionals. Hello, I am Tian Chan. You guys can call me Stephanie, which is my English name. Um, I have a question. So, um, just just to make sure, this is is this the lateral uh, ventricle, like the opening here? Um, yes, ma'am. That's lateral ventricle. Exactly. Okay. And then also, I was just wondering. I don't know if I can show it in a Zoom screen. Yeah. Um, so this one. So today I had so much fun in Stanford Clinical Internship. We did lots of things from the morning. And um, first of all, in the first class, we listened to a lecture by a physician scientist. And it was really interesting to hear about the medical course, what he listened to, and also what he's studying currently and his experiences in the field. And he also kind of encouraged students to maybe pursue the career path of a physician scientist where you can also um, interact with the patients, but also conduct up some researchers at your own labs. So after we listened to the lecture, we went into our second period and this was honestly so interesting. It was the concept or like the topic was um, hypnosis in medicine and we learned about placebo effect and how uh, sugar pills can be effective for the patients if they think um, the, the pills would make them feel better. And after we learn about that, we also listen to her story um, of practicing hypnosis to her patients. And it was really cool to see how subconscious mind and conscious mind work together. Okay, so for the third period, we dissected sheep's brain. And before we did that, um, we learned about different parts of the brain, the anatomy and the basic functions. And we also learned about possible diseases that are related to different um, lobes of the brain. So the frontal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital lobe, and the periatal lobe. Um, and then we went into the breakout rooms after we saw uh, the teacher's demonstration, how to dissect it. We went into the breakout rooms. There were about 10 other students and one um, assistant. 
and the assistant showed us um, how to dissect the brain once again and uh, and showed us what individual sections and parts look like in reality well in this sheep's brain um, not just like theories and pictures and on PowerPoint so after she um, showed us those we actually dissected by ourselves and we got to investigate and examine how they look uh, how different sections and parts of the brain look like in real life so this is sheep's brain it's very small it's very cute as well compared to human brain which is considerably uh, large so this is the cerebellum and then the front part is a frontal lobe and then the top part is obviously the uh, parietal lobe and then at the back side it's the occipital lobe um, and we can see in the middle that is a really um, very prominent sulcus and we call this longitudinal fissure so I first of all dissected in half like this as you can see and we can see like the side of it and we can see the prominent um, uh, white matter and then the gray matter in the cerebellum you can really see it and you can kind of take it apart to kind of distinguish the two parts and then um, this is basically the brain stem as you can see and we also looked at it like whoops we also looked at it like this so this circle part is a pineal gland 